Hello guys, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Deerbrush and today we're going to create an isometric drawing using Affinity Designer. So let's get to it. So first we're going to create a new document. In this document we're going to choose presets. So I already made a preset a while back and perfectly it's just a square so it's uh, 500 by 500. Uh, it's a uh, 300 dpi. So if you want to use the same dimensions as I do, you can do, as, do this right away. Okay, let's click OK. And now we got our artboard. Nice. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the settings tab here and just choose grid. Okay, so now is the grid panel here. And in the grid panel, we're going to choose isometric and once the isometric grid mode is chosen we're going to go and show the grid so i don't know if you can see this right here but let me just try to choose another color maybe you guys will see it better okay i think it's going to be better on uh, the on the mobile right now okay okay so we have the grid here let's just tweak it a bit and make it a bit more smaller there we go. So do this by just dragging your pen where it says spacing. I think we made it too small. Okay, so it's around 19 right now. Let's just leave it at this. Okay, so right now we're going to choose a color for the background. So I have my own swatches and you can choose whatever color you see fit. So for this drawing, I'm going to just going to choose a simple green. And right now, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. So before I do this, eh, because I'm already drawing in the isometric mode, the first thing we need to do is enable planes right here in the panel. So you click that once, enable the planes and choose edit in plane. Mine is already chosen, so you just need to do this yourself. Okay. So, right now we're going to choose, we're going to create our background. There we go. And for safety purposes, we're just going to go to the Layers tab. Choose the menu right here, on the top, in the top left and just lock it up so we don't choose it every time we edit something okay so now we're going to create our basic shape so right now we have top lane chosen and now we're going to create another rectangle in the top lane view so choose another color i'm going to go to the bottom here i'm going to choose now maybe i'm going to choose a bluish shape okay let's just drag it over here and to make it equal to make it a square we're just gonna put one finger on the tablet and drag this like so okay so choose the move tool let's center this a bit let's make it a bit more smaller okay and now let's zoom in a bit okay so the best thing about Affinity Designer right now is because the software is very easy to use for isometric design. And I'm going to show you why right now. Let's draw another rectangle, or better yet, let's copy this. So, copy and paste it. Now, go to the three dots menu right here. Choose front plane. And now, choose fit to plane right below edit in plane the video and there we go it snapped in place and we can just put it where we want it to be okay let me choose a darker blue okay now let's do the whole sorry let's do the whole house so yeah, right now we're going to create the house. Let's create another rectangle or let's just paste it. And we're going to choose side plane. And we're going to choose 
fit to plane again. Awesome. Now let's drag this over here. Now what we have to do now is go to the layers tab and put this new square we created right now under the more bluish square. Okay. Now let's do this one more time. We do paste. Now let's choose the front plane and we're going to choose fit to plane once again. Okay. Let's snap it into position. Awesome. And we just need to create one more. Okay. So we choose paste, go and choose side plane and now fit to plane once again. Cool. Okay, so, so far we got the basic shape down. Let's choose the whole shapes. And now let's do, let's drag it and make it a bit more smaller. Okay. Now let's group this, just so we can keep everything neat in the layers tab. Let's enhance it and let's go to top lane again. Okay, so what we need to do now is maybe create some other assets around the house. And drag the new rectangle below our cube. Okay, so let's, sorry, let's edit this a bit so it can fit, fit on our plane. And let's put this house right here. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create sort of like the border of the house. And we're going to choose a rectangle. And we're going to drag it in the same plane let's choose the rectangle and choose our new created rectangle let's cho choose another color so just so that we don't get lost when editing okay so drag this uh, near the cube let's try to drag this into a good position okay snap it right here and let's do this a bit okay this should do it let's drag it a bit more downwards okay so i'm satisfied with the position right now let's just go over here and snap it correctly into place there we go awesome now we're going to create an another border so we copy this paste it and just Go to the menu tab, choose side plane and fit to plane. Now we just need to rotate this. So we do this by putting the one finger on the tablet and dragging this. So just so we can snap into a right angle. Okay, now we're going to snap this into correct position. Awesome. And now we need to paste once again. So it creates another border. Now we're going to put this into a top plane. And now we're going to fit the plane again. Drag this to a good angle, like this, okay. Now this has to move on top of the cube layer, okay. And now let's drag it a bit more to the top. Drag the shape so we can match the other border. And now we need to create another one. So we copy this border, paste it. And now we're going to choose front plane and choose fit to plane. Okay, let's drag this, drag it over here. And now we need to create another shape right now. So side plane, and we're just going to create this ourselves. Okay, so this is basically done. Now, what we need to do is choose a darker color for these parts. So let's select them all. So you can do this by tapping on the tablet, select them all one by one, or you can just go to the layer tab, choose the first layer, 
and swiping each individual layer. So what we're going to do right now is these, these shapes, so the borders on the bottom, we need to change the color. So we're going to do this, just this three right here, and we're going to choose a better color. So I'm going to choose maybe this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's looking good so far. So what we need to do right now is create the door. Okay, so we can do this by choosing a rectangle tool again. So it's already in the side plane. We just need to drag it and create a rectangle shape. Awesome. What we need to create now is the window as well. So we're going to create this right square over here. And let's drag it a bit more to this part, okay? And now let's copy it and paste it and place it in another plane. So we choose the, we're going to choose the front plane. And we're going to choose fit in plane. Awesome. Let's put this a bit more center. There we go. And now we can move to the roof. So I think we can use the border over here as part of the roof. So we're going to select all the borders here and just group them all. We're going to copy them and paste it above. Okay, so let's drag this. So to drag it in the same position, you just keep your finger on the tablet and just drag it on the top. So one more thing we need to do here is just create another border here. So we can keep things a bit more consistent, I would say. Awesome. So let's just choose the rectangle tool. Let's select top plane and or actually, we can do something much better. We can take one rectangle from here, copy it, and choose the Move tool, and just drag it. Oops, we forgot to paste it. My mistake. And just drag it over here. Okay. Good. Now, the only thing we need to do now is create another rectangle for this part here. So, the same thing. We can choose this rectangle over here, copy, paste it, and just move it over here. Okay, so it's all good on our part. I'm just gonna select these two. I think they're already grouped because we made adjustments in the width elements of the group. I'm just gonna make this a bit more bigger. There we go. Okay, so it's looking pretty nice. So what I want to do here is create the air conditioner. We're going to create another rectangle and we're going to create practically another cube right here so we're going to go to the side plane and copy paste it and choose fit to plane again sorry so fit to plane hmm. so what happened okay i think i understand so we're just gonna copy again paste it and choose fit to plane. Now it's all good. There we go. Let's drag this over here. Let's add copy paste. Let's drag this up here. Cool. And let's just create, let's choose front plane and create another square over here. Sorry. Snap it into position. Drag this and snap it back here. Okay, let's choose the move tool. Let's drag the image a bit back. Let's choose a darker color for this part of the air conditioner and choose this color over here. We're going to choose a whiter color here and it's all good. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is also create some details for the window. Okay, so what we're going to do now is copy, paste it, make it a bit more smaller, 
drag into the as best we can in the center choose a white color or better yet let's choose this color over here and we're going to choose for the frame we're going to choose a white color let's drag it a bit more closer to the window let's choose the pen tool and sort of create the reflection of the light on the window so we just use the pen tool and we just create a basic shape here let me close in a bit just so you can see again so let's do this again so we take a point so we make certain selections from point to point okay now let's disable this border color okay now we're going to go back to the fill color and we're going to choose a white color so it's you cannot see it because it's on a bottom layer so we're going to have to drag it on top of the window there you go and what we're going to do right now just to make it a bit more appealing we're going to let me just okay so what we're going to do right now is choose the transparency tool so it's this shape under the gradient and we're going to drag this over here so where is the black is practically where the color is displayed and where are the white dots is where the color fades so we need to adjust this just so we can get a bit more transparency so we're going to do it like this okay there we go awesome so choose the move tool again okay so it's looking pretty nice now let's copy this shape once more paste it let's drag it a bit more to the right okay now let's in let's enlarge it just a bit okay now to be more precise we're going to choose the new node tool right here it's under the move tool we're going to click on the dots and just place it as best we can okay so it's looking good awesome looking very nice okay so we're going to do the same for the door so we copy paste it and just make it be more smaller move it to the as we can to the center and let's make it so we can get a border okay so we're going to put the back shape a bit to the white we're going to choose this specific color as the window so we can do this by dragging the same color over here okay now we choose the blue color and we do the same thing we did with the reflection on the window so we're going to take the pen tool choose our points to create a reflection okay so now let me just adjust this a bit perfect now let's choose the white color and let's choose the transparency tool again and just rotate it and we leave it like this awesome okay so one thing we need to do is go here and create the other details for this air conditioner so we choose the ellipse tool so right now we're in the side plane we need to go to the front plane actually we're in the front plane we need to go to the side plane okay so now we drag it we drag here so we create the filtering surface i think it's called and just choose another color now we need to go and take the shape and move it to the top so it can be visible okay let's create some rectangles on this plane as well so we can make it more appealing copy paste drag it to the bottom let's make another one drag it to the bottom perfect okay so it's looking good so far so what we're doing right now we're going to do like a tree near the house 
But first let me make the yard a bit more compact. Okay. There we go. Let me just stretch this out a bit. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're going to take the rectangle. So there's many ways to do the tree, but I'm going to show you how I do it usually. So either we can take an ellipse, for example, choose top lane. So we center the ellipse as best we can. We choose the rectangle. Whoops. Let me just, okay. For now, let's cancel editing plane. So, okay. Now, once edit it in plane is gone, I'm gonna put the rectangle and cover the ellipse or half the ellipse. So let me show you. Choose the ellipse. Let's change the color to another a brown. And you can see here, we just put the rectangle on top of the circle just so we can cut it a bit and make it seem like it's isometric. Okay, now let's choose the same color for the tree, for the rectangle, sorry. Okay, and now we're going to group this together. We're going to do the same for the house, just so we can keep things a bit more neat, sorry. We choose the move tool. So unselect the trunk and now just go to layers and group them <clears throat> perfect okay so now we're going to go here let's choose the ellipse once more and just drag shape make it circular okay let's just center this a bit perfect and let's choose another green color we're going to choose this color over here. Awesome. And now let's make this trunk a bit more smaller and a bit more thinner as well. Cool. And let's copy this, paste it, and let's paste it again. Now drag this per circle up just so we can see the bottom one a bit more. Select both of them, go to the free dot menu and select subtract. Awesome. Now for this, we can select darker color and we're going to choose this. I'm going to choose this green over here. And you can see with just a few adjustments, we already have the tree, the tree shadow, sorry. Okay. So we need to create another design for the window over here. So we're going to do the same as we did before with the other window. Copy and paste it, create, center this window as best you can. Let's choose the square behind it. Let's choose the white color. Let's choose the blue color over here. I'm gonna choose a bit more darker blue and just create the reflection as best you can. Okay, so let's choose a white color. Let me just adjust with the no tool. Let's make it a bit more bigger. There we go. Choose the transparency tool again and drag this as best you can. Okay, so it's all good now. Awesome. So we almost have everything done. One thing I want to do is create sort of the like the reflection. So what I'm going to do here right now with this tree is just invert it. So I think we already grouped it. No, we did not. So we're going to group this selection. Okay. And right now we're going to choose in the adjust in the transform panel. We're going to choose flip horizontally. Okay just so we have the light source in the correct direction, more or less. Okay, so we're going to 
create the shadow over here. So I'm going to choose the pen tool, just create so the points outlining the space over here that's left. And I'm going to choose a darker color. So we're going to choose a dark blue and now use the transparency tool on the shape and let's drag the black point over here and just extend the space a bit and there we go okay so we created a bit of shadow now we're going to do the same for the tree so we can do this by just copy and pasting we're going to drag this and we're going to flatten this a bit we're going to just transform this tree a bit okay let's make it a bit more smaller okay so i'm gonna just take the color make this a total black and we're going to choose the, tra the transparency tool again and just drag in the correct position just adjust the transparency a bit okay and we're going to have to move this to the bottom layer the bottom layer of the tree okay and let's just adjust it the best we can okay we're well, looking good already so the only thing i would add right now is just a bit of grass so we're going to do the pen tool create one point create another keep it pressed and just drag the end point okay so what we're going to do right now is going to the color panel choose the border let's choose another green so we're going to go with uh, this green over here go to the stroke panel drag these two points over here to the bottom select point in the middle let me just show you what this does okay so let's drag this to the bottom so you can see if we drag this level up we're going to get a pretty nice shape so you can play around with the settings so you can get comfortable when designing okay so we got this i'm going to choose the width and create a bit more okay so it's 1.5 points right now so what we're going to do right now is just create copy paste it and just create some grass imitation paste it once more and there we go we got some beautiful grass okay so we just take it a bit more back we're going to just make this stroke a bit more lighter okay and we're going to sorry we're going to select these three grains and now we're going to group it just copy and paste it a few times paste and paste and let's drag them where you see it Let's just paste it one more so we can have it here and there we go we created a basic illustration doing isometric design in affinity designer now let's just take the grid off so it can look much better there we go see how clean it is now this is basically my process it's easy to do and it's easy to implement so if you have any other questions you can let me know in the comments below and also if you have any suggestions for my next video feel free to comment in the comment section below Thank you for joining and see you in the next video. Have a nice day.